Hello. The Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer is the reason you're watching this video. You either have one or you're gonna buy one. And I wanted to go through some of the flavor choices because the flavors of the hot chocolates you're gonna create are gonna be everything. They're gonna be the reason that you buy it. Now, Hotel Chocolat have a limited amount of flavors available at the moment. My preference, personally speaking, I don't like all the flavors. I find them a little bit too bitter and too strong. The salted caramel is the flavor that I like the most. Um, I have found alternatives that I'd like to share with you today. Some choices that I prefer and are a lot cheaper than the standards um, from Hotel Chocolat. Now, just as a word of warning, um, Hotel Chocolat recommend in their documentation that you only blend their, their chocolate because it's, it's ground up in a certain, certain type of way. Now, you can, there are options available right here and I'll go through some later on, um, but um, I've used it and haven't had a problem. You can obviously do it at your own, you know, leisure, um, but uh, obviously at your own risk as well. So 35 grams of chocolate is, um, is how much they put in each of these sachets. If you were to buy one of these, which I have, they're two and a half kilos of chocolate. They'll do 71 servings. So a serving from that looks like this. You take a quarter of a cup and then you just about fill it to the top and that's 35 grams. You can get 71 out of here, okay? Now this costs one pound 20 and this, cost 35p, all right, so it's a lot less. Um, obviously, uh, you can also use the chocolate for other things as well, like we do in our family. It goes over porridge and it goes in for cooking and various other things. Um, the flavors are the reasons why I buy it. So they've got loads of great flavors. So my, my favorite is the milk chocolate, but I also um, add uh, the caramel to it as well. And they've got white chocolate, which is fantastic. They're really good quality chocolates and um, they've got a, like a, a low melting point as well, which is really important. Um, they do Ecuadorian dark 70%, they do a 50%, and this one's 33%. They also do um, um, a ruby chocolate, which is, you've probably heard of these new Kit Kats being available. The ruby cocoa bean, very expensive, 106 pounds for a two and a half kilo bag, but it'll make a hot chocolate at one pound 49 a cup, which is crazy luxurious and a little bit more expensive than this. Um, so 60% less per cup if you go and buy this. I'm also gonna experiment with a few other choices as well. Chocolate bars, I've frozen these, I'm gonna grate them up, and I've got some taste tests with my kids to try out. They may work, they may not work. You know, we'll see, we'll see. But otherwise, um, let's, um, let me go away, grate some chocolate, come back, and then we'll see um, how well they blend, okay? Yep. So, um, the hot chocolate that I have here is fantastic, and the white chocolate is really, really good. Now. Obviously the texture of this is a lot thicker and bigger than your um, Hotel Chocolat, which is ground up a lot smaller. So what I tend to do is I um, put the milk into the fill line, I then turn it on and then I leave it for maybe a minute. And what happens is, is that um, you'll, you'll start to see steam appearing and um, the milk will become warm. At that point, I tend to slowly pull this in. So what I, could, what I do is I start by just doing this. Okay. Okay, just like this. Just, I don't want to overwhelm the blades at the bottom, okay? But the temperature is of, of the milk is, is correct enough that um, it should start melting pretty quickly. Um, I've used this before from, you know, uh, with a hand whisk um, and it really melts quickly, which is what you want. So, there you go. It's, um, you need to service the machine a little bit more as in you need to stand next to it and do this. Um, whereas before you could just walk off and let the thing do its, uh, you know, let's do its business and at the end of it, you'll have a uh, hot chocolate in two and a half minutes. But I think it's worth it, the 60% reduction in costs um, that, you'll, that you'll, uh, you'll benefit from by going and using this chocolate and the, and the flavors you can mix together, like adding caramel to the milk chocolate is just fantastic, really good. So I've replaced like a third of the, uh, of the cup that I use, so a quarter of a cup fill it almost to the top, and um, there you go. You can see in here, it looks pretty much the same as um, as before. And then let me pour it in. There you go, it's got a little bit more head than usual, and all the chocolate's been uh, blended up as well. So, you know, it didn't have any issues or problems. Okay. So we tried grating the 
Mars bar and it didn't work out very well. It was very, very difficult. Um, so we're gonna try is using a neutral bullet. Let's see what happens here, you ready? Okay, so we've got 32 grams that we've got um, blended. Um, the milling blade of our, um, of our neutral bullet managed to uh, blend most of it. So I've just put a bit less um, milk than usual in because we've got slightly less chocolate. And this is the, this is the Mars bar. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna try and slowly add it. It's definitely that same texture um, that Hotel Chocolat have. So I'm confident it should work. Some lumps. You can see it's... There you go. So the Mars has just finished. Now it's not got the thicker head as before. Now I did less milk this time because I had less chocolate. That is really good. Definitely taste that caramel. Definitely taste that milk chocolate. Now, do you want to swing the camera around? Oliver? What do you think? It's hot. Oh, that's good. Yeah? Right, we've just got to work on a way of actually um, blending the thing rapidly so that we uh, don't have to faff around trying to um, grate the thing up. Mm. Otherwise that is, that's gotta be eight out of 10, nine out of 10 I'd say. Right, so we've got a double decker here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here, our Nutribullet, with the milling blade, and then we're gonna try and um, grind it up and test it out. So here we have, depending on if I use the whole thing, 54 grams. So what I will use, I might try and use a little bit less. Um, let's see if it blends. Okay. <laughs> So this is the double decker. Now um, I've got about 35, about 36 grams there. Some bits I left in here um, because I know it'd be a bit too much. So um, I left that there. I've turned this on. Now this is a bit squishy. Um, as you can see here, it's a very strange, the way it came out of the milling blade, it's very strange. So I think it will blend. It's almost like the nugget of a Mars bar. If it doesn't jam up the, uh, the blade, let it in slowly. This is chocolate, this is everything of a double decker combined, so you can see it's very sticky. I think it might have a trouble trying to blend it up. This probably isn't the right sort of chocolate. But let's, tr let's see if it works. I'm worried it's not blend blending any of it. Right. I'm gonna run out of time. Okay. Right, this is double decker. So let's have a look. Seems to have. Right, okay, we've got a bit of leftovers in the bottom, if you can see that. Probably not exactly what you want. Right, let's try it for flavour. Ooh, it's nuggety. And sweet. Not my cup of tea, but um, certainly others can try it out. Right, Ollie, tell us what you think. It's hot. Mm -hmm. And creamy. Nice, and it's a really good hot chocolate. Okay. Right, so what we're gonna try now is uh, Caramac. Now, because it's not 35 grams, I'm gonna have to add less milk to make sure the flavor comes through properly. Okay, now what I've done is because it's a thin chocolate bar, I've simply smashed it up um, with a rolling pin. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's have a look. So these pieces here should be small enough. I've got to load them in slowly whilst the milk is warm, okay? Um, to avoid causing damage to the motor, all right? Okay. 
The milk is warm. It's been running for a minute or two. I'm going to slowly, slowly. Okay, so it's finished, and now we're gonna pour it in here. So it's got a lot more foam than the other chocolates. Okay, it seems to have all um, been blended. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Definitely got that caramel flavor. Tastes closer to white chocolate though when mixed with milk. Um, a lot of foam, a lot of head. But otherwise, nah, not too bad. If you like Caramac, you'll like this. Mm, that's nice. Right, so the next one is a Terry's Chocolate Orange. Now, this was frozen. We've smashed it up with the rolling pin again. It seems to be small enough, although it's, they're probably a bit big. We'll add them slowly to warm milk um, and see how it goes. Um, the Caramac, Six out of 10, Double Decker, six out of 10. Mars was the best, I think, so far, eight out of 10. But my preference at the moment is the, um, the two and a half kilo bags of beads because they're easy to load and um, they're versatile and they don't need um, to be crushed up, frozen, or blended or grated. Anyway, so let's try the Terry's Chocolate Orange. So I don't want to damage the unit. And because it's quite cold, it also might be a bit of a challenge when maybe for this one it should have been kept at room temperature and then maybe even heated up and ripped apart. The warmer the milk gets, the easier it will uh, obviously disintegrate, but we smashed it up pretty good. Did quite a job on it. To be honest, if and what I would probably do is to get an orange flavor, I would use an orange syrup. So you can buy syrup that you get in coffee shops. You can buy them online. Um, you can get loads of different flavors, coffee flavors and um, chocolate flavors and fruit flavors. And so you could just buy, I mean, my favorite is mint, um, mint syrup, but you could just buy orange syrup and add it to chocolate and have the same effects for a lot less hassle, probably even a lot less cost as well. Um, the cost of these chocolate bars about 70p the cost of um, you know getting a syrup like seven pounds but it could last you hundreds of hot chocolates and obviously um, if you use the bags you're looking at what 30p I think we say or 25p per serving so this is almost done and it's blended you can hear it stopped breaking the bits up and it's finished so it's got a little bit of a foamy head a few bits there at the bottom Otherwise, everything in there looks like it blended up nicely. Right, I'm not a big fan of Terry's chocolate orange. Mm. That's really good, actually. That's a really nice, creamy, smooth. Yeah, I like that. That's really nice. Nice, nice drink. Okay, for my next trial, Oliver, I'm gonna give that a taste test. That's really good. Yeah? Can you taste the orange in it? It's hot. Milk chocolate, yeah. Keeping the cups warm to keep the chocolate as hot as possible. Mm. I like that. I like that, that's good. On to the next one. Right, so um, the next one we've got is Cadbury's Flake. Now we chose this, we wanted the classic Cadbury's flavor. Um, but obviously in flake form, it's uh, a lot easier for the velvetizer to, uh, to work on. Um, so again, rolling pin, smash it up, get the milk to temperature a little bit, and then um, we'll add it in. Um, so we've got, the last one we've got is a caramel one. And I think that to be honest, should probably be at room temperature rather than frozen um, to make it easier for it to digest. So we'll go through that in a minute. And that's a galaxy caramel, by the way. Right, so. Let's have a look at this one. 
So this one should be the exact consistency that Hotel Chocolat chocolate comes in. Yeah, that looks good to me. So I'm willing to add it in a bit earlier than usual. This is 32 grams, so I've added slightly less milk um, to compensate for the uh, lower amount of chocolate. All right, so hopefully in a couple of seconds, that should uh, blend. We should have some nice piping hot Cadbury's hot chocolate. Okay, right, so we've got Cadbury's flake and it's got quite a lot of foam, as you can see here. Didn't add as much milk. It's certainly filling the cup up, isn't it? It all seems to have blended. Let's try it out. Mmm, very foamy. But that 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 Cadbury's hot that Cadbury's chocolate is definitely there. Much more so than if you were to use Cadbury's hot chocolate powder, which I've never liked. Um, Mmm, I do like that. That is really, really good. Mmm, but saying that, it is twice the price as if of the um, of the bags of chocolate. Um, but it has that distinctive Cadbury's uh, taste. So if you can get any sort of chocolate of volume, uh, then this might be sort of cost effective. Um, very nice, very nice. I'd say that's a, an eight out of ten as well. Right. So this is our final chocolate bar. What we've got here is. Galaxy Caramel. Now, this was rolling, rolling pin, but unfortunately, the caramel is quite lumpy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in there slowly. Okay, that's quite disgusting. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks right now. Um, okay then. Now remember, if you want a caramel taste, those beads that I've got, or the caramel chocolate drops, are probably better than actually doing this to your velvetizer. It may struggle. It's... All right. Okay. Once this is all blended, I'll come back at the end, okay? Right, what we've got now is Galaxy Caramel. Now this um, didn't blend as well. Um, well, certainly smashing up was quite a challenge. Uh, it just clung to the caramel, uh, even though it was frozen. Um, and the velvet has struggled a little bit. Uh, we didn't add it all because the bar's um, about 40 grams. Um, let's have a look. You see a bit of chocolate left at the end there. Didn't manage to get everything. Okay, not foam's about right. Hmm. It's nice, you can't taste the milk chocolate, you can just mainly taste the caramel. It's kind of like a white chocolate caramel because of the milk. Hmm. It's all right, but not probably worth it considering the burden it places on the velvetizer. I'll stick with um, chocolate chips and then add some caramel. But otherwise, yeah, it's quite good. Right, Ollie, Janice caramel. That certainly hurts my taste buds because of how many hot chocolates I've had and they're very, really hot. <laughs> but otherwise, think of Yeah, it's been a very uh, busy afternoon drinking hot chocolate, but otherwise, um, I think it was worth it. Right, so, after trying a lot of hot chocolate all afternoon, feeling quite sick, but I think it was worth it because um, we were not too sure if, it could, uh, if we could actually make it happen or not. In some respects we did, in some respects we didn't. So I'd say some of the chocolate bars were a bit of a fail because of the amount of effort involved in getting them down to the small pieces that the velvetizer can consume. Um, I'd say that you shouldn't put huge lumps of chocolate in it. I think you need to make sure they're very small. I think flake is the easiest one to do. Um, you can smash it up and it goes quite, you know, into very small pieces and you can load it in quite easily. Um, Mars uh, and Double Decker, whilst they're nice, which is too difficult to go in uh, with, the, with the prep work. Um, I'd say the, the best bang for your buck is gonna come from the, um, the large packs that, um, that you can buy. I've, I'm gonna include the, the links um, in a blog post, so if you check the, the, um, the, the, the title down below, you'll find the details there. But those packs with the right melting temperature, because this company that makes them does various different melting temperatures of their chocolate, but those ones, um, I think, are, are, the, are the right price 
um, easy to load. Um, I'm hoping they won't damage my machine. I can't say for sure, but it seems to be fine. Um, I've used it for about um, four weeks now um, and it's not had a problem. I used it every day, in fact. Um, but otherwise, I like the flavors a lot. Um, the caramel is a big hit and the white chocolate is fantastic on its own. Uh, Starbucks do a white chocolate and I really like it and uh, being able to make it at home is just wonderful. And for 30p a cup, it's just brilliant. It really, really is delicious. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I hope it's given you some ideas of what you can do. If you have any other suggestions, then put them in the comments. Um, and thanks for watching.